I'm Tommy Gohoff, your morning mayor on AM 1450 KMMS in Bozeman, and my co-host, uh, half man, half amazing, Shaman Tobin, in beautiful Vancouver, uh, British Columbia, and uh, we are uh, here to, uh, well, entertain you and educate you and uh, do all of that kind of stuff. I would, I would hope we can, uh, we can do most of that stuff today. Uh, if you want to contact us, uh, hey, you can contact us, of course, on uh, Facebook. Uh, just send us a message over on Facebook. Or you can text us 24-7-365 at 406-478-8298 if you got any comments about the show or questions about what we do or all of that stuff. We'll be happy to, uh, we'll be happy to entertain those questions. Or, you know, if you just want to insult us for the way we look or, you know, whatever, anything like that is fine. And uh, we also have an app chat. Uh, you can get on AM 1450 KMMS at the Apple Store or Google Play, and uh, we'll be happy to uh, take your messages there as well. And if you can't get enough of us, oh, my God, uh, we, we've got 369 previous shows you can listen to over at KMMSAM.com, KMMSAM.com. And, of course, if you are watching us on YouTube, down in the right-hand corner, subscribe. Down in the right-hand corner. <laughs> Don't forget to do that. So, Shane, how are you doing this morning? I am doing great. And before we get started, props out to Julie Weiss of Political Therapy yeah. for Trump. She okay. uh, uh, shared our show to uh -huh. the vast family she's created with this over the last four years. And uh, I'm very grateful to you, Julie. You're terrific. Thank you. This might give us the leg up we get to move our numbers, and uh, that's the game. Move numbers. We're working on it. You're helping us a lot. So thank you, Julie that, Schwartz, and all of you at Political yeah. Therapy for Trump. All right. Uh, the other thing, uh, well, the big news today, of course, is uh, Shane, uh, Democrats are going to are blocking the uh, stimulus bill for small business because they want some other stuff included in it uh they're just not happy with helping small business they got to put uh, something else in there so well they'll pay for it they'll pay for it at the polls um mm -hmm. people are not gonna have a short memory on this it's too big of a disaster it's ec epic um it's historical in your 200 history of your country uh you know you come up on 175 years so yeah it's th th this uh or excuse me 150 years so yeah th this is epic and uh uh, they already have enough problems to deal with already, but uh, that's why I refer to them as the demolition party. Here they go, folks. They want to demolish the solution to cure your country and your and your economy. Mm -hmm. So what is there? What what what? Why? You know, it, it split to the Senate. We explained yesterday the uh, the procedural process they're going through, so it could be done quickly. Uh, they they could have simply had a a vote by ballot. They could have stood. And, mm -hmm. or a voice vote but no they want to hold it up to throw in garbage and that's what it is garbage yeah well that's uh you know that seems to be the case uh, i know mcconnell went uh, before the senate this morning and said hey you know why don't we pass this you know right. you don't need anything else in it uh we're taking care of the small business owners the lifeblood of our country so why not uh why not help these folks out well, you remember the woke media now for the last week mm -hmm. has said this won't work. We want the IG on this. We want to make sure there's no corruption. Uh, they'll yeah. never get it done. It's going to take longer than they say. Folks, you did your job. Your government served you. The ones that haven't are your banks, which we've already covered. And still, yeah. you know, it just racks my more oranges that <laughs> one. And, and so what, what you're faced with is a government in action that's been streamlined by a, a president they don't want to give any recognition to, any credit to, you know, his task force, the Secretary of Treasury, a mutant. This is astounding. Yeah. And uh, clearly, they've already moved the money that they have specifically outlined in the $2.2 trillion they passed. So mm -hmm. once again, folks, and all you small business owners that like 72% of the economy, knock, 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 the de demolition party is at your door wanting your vote. Yep. <laughs> well, uh, boy, I don't, I don't know. This, this money going out to 
to everybody. Uh, they're they're behind and getting it out for one thing. Well, I don't know if they're that far behind getting no, it out, not. but they they're they've a little gone, yeah. No, they've already gone through the three hundred and fifty million small business loan money. Now what? Well, what yeah, they're, for that. What yeah. they're basically I, saying to your president? Excuse me. Is he saying yeah. okay? Tap the Federal Reserve. They got four hundred, you know, four hundred fifty billion. So leverage another three fifty from the Fed, dump it into small business, and let's go, folks. We got to wind this clock. They have to survive. We got to get back. They got to all be there when we come back. The most difficult thing is going to be the theater, um, the um, small business restaurants, and large and bars and coffee shops. I mean, these are the essence of your economy. And uh, those are something people consume yeah. every day because, you know, it's relative to food. I, I hate to inform the demolition party of that, but that's yeah. why it works. <laughs> well, I, I also saw up in Canada today that uh, Trudeau wants to, he wants to keep everybody out of work till what, June or something like that? I forget what he, uh, what he it, put up, I, but he, yeah. He, oh, he's what an idiot. Yeah, yeah, he supposedly has been buried in his, in his mansion, you know, in Ottawa, yeah. but now yeah. he's going to go go to work but keep in mind folks one interesting aspect to all this all the politicians making these decisions running your country telling you what to do yeah. they're all getting paid they're mm -hmm. not out of work none of them yeah. are, none of them have their checks lapsing or their direct deposits from the treasury department they're getting their money every two weeks so let's yeah. keep you know, you know let's keep this consistent who is really benefiting because folks yeah. you're not yeah, that's for sure. Hey, I want to welcome uh, Dan to the show. We got a couple of Lindas to the show. We got Sean here. We've got uh, David here. We've got Mark here. Uh, we've got uh, uh, Allison's here. Oh, man. Everybody's uh, coming in today. So we appreciate you guys uh, showing up for us. Thanks very much for uh, uh, taking the time to. Uh, watch us make fools of ourselves so that's okay yeah yes well one of the things that uh this this um coronavirus has prompted shane is um uh, is something that uh is called the national security act right so and uh, this this gives the president a little uh he's got a pen on the phone right so what's he gonna do with that pen and that phone He's got two of the emergency, the emergency uh, medical act. We can talk about that another day, but it's the defense production act of 1950 and yeah. uh, federal law you know, put into uh, on September 8th, 1950. And it gives the uh, president extreme powers to do a lot of things. One we talked about with student loans. He could cancel the interest on that right out. And we explained why that would be a huge solution uh, they show willingness to pay over, over a year, roll it over into a mortgage, the government will support, and bam, you got all those 25 to 30-year-olds that thought they'd never be part of the American dream. Now their loans rolled over into their mortgage, they're out of the parent basement, and they own equity. They own a home. How cool would that? I hate to repeat it, but it's a good deal. So the Defense Production Act, he could do another thing to solve the third rail, Social Security, because under the Defense and Production Act, he could make changes, which we want to talk about, because now is the time to save Social Security. That would be true. Yeah. So. All right. Well, another thing we've got to talk about uh, is on, uh, a very unfortunate topic, but we've got 10 percent job loss. One in every 10 uh, people are out of work out there in um, in America, and uh, they may or may not qualify for uh, unemployment or you know whatever uh walmart's hiring a lot of folks um but um still there's an awful lot of people that are wondering how what am i going to do here you know how am i going to how am i going to survive well I, I think the good news is and we you know i'm positive and i'm a numbers guy so sure. um my thing about the good news is this um, I thought it would be bigger than it was at 6.6 million people. And I did some analyzing. And the reason is there's like 3 million jobs out there in essential businesses like Walmart wants to hire a million people. I mean, there's, so there's jobs out there. People are being able to get, so the numbers weren't as, as ragged as I thought they would be. However, warning, 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 Bill Smith, <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it's will go to 10 million if it's not closed. It's, you know, it's warning Bill Robinson, actually, but uh, that's OK. 
Will Robinson. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. I appreciate that correction. Okay. No so, problem. Happy to help. That's why I'm here. <laughs> so, it, I expect over 10 million if if he doesn't turn the flip the switch uh, sometime at the beginning of May. Not May for a bad day. We've talked about that. Um, but having said that, um, if he doesn't, uh, this is going to go to twenty percent. You know, if, if he, if the scientists convic- convince him to keep this going, um, we we have a serious problem, and they will pay a big price because now their models are inefficient, um, proving to be wrong, and uh, we, we got a real problem on our hands. And we'll talk about that later in the show because I've got more numbers. And why do I like numbers, Eagle Man? I don't know. Why do you like numbers, Shane? Number people lie. Numbers don't. Right? Numbers don't, don't lie. Okay. Numbers don't <laughs> lie. People do. Yeah. Well, the other thing that's really uh, help or hurting our economy, of course, is that uh, uh, we've got a third of the planes around the world on the ground. They're not flying. Uh, nobody wants to go anywhere. I think uh, what New York Airport down ninety five percent from what they usually have going to going to these very places so yeah yeah delta cut back their uh, flights to 20 percent uh yeah. you know other airlines have i mean they basically yeah. cut back because they're doing mostly flights within your country now of course and yeah. uh, there's not many people flying of course and they got to keep social separation on the plane so they're even limited uh-huh. to how many people they can put on a plane um yeah. that may be a, that may be a problem to continue but i, th- I think we're going to come up with a fundamental solution to be able to directly tell people, uh, you know, I I think the plane manufacturers are ordering a lot of those Abbott boxes for testing people before they get on a plane. That would reduce people's concerns vastly. Oh, and and there's big news, um, applications on your phone, Israel, University in in Quebec, in Montreal, several other people around the world. There's about 10 or 12 people working on an app for your cell phone to be able to use face recognition, your temperature, your heart rate, and so forth, <clears throat> to determine whether or not you have the virus. So that would be an instant solution for one and all. That that'd be very cool. Yeah. All right, we got some more people joining us. Martha joined the group, and uh, Larry's here uh, from my hometown. So's Vernie. Uh, Vernie says I'm tired of staying home. Can't even go play golf. <laughs> I don't blame you, man. <laughs> that, that sucks. <laughs> also, Ross is here, uh, so we're happy to have Ross with us today. So we, uh, we're getting a few folks in here, and uh, uh, actually, Bernie's in in Kane. <laughs> so, <laughs> wow, yeah, I'm impressed. <laughs> That's Kane yeah. with a K A N E. Yeah, cool. right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've been been. Uh, well, I can't talk about how. Uh, yeah, for the benefit of uh, Bernie and. Uh, and Larry, we don't talk about high school. We don't talk about college on this no, show. Not, not about baby. No, no, we don't go there. I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wayne joins us. Uh, he's out in uh, Traverse City. Uh, great job, my Montana friends. Uh, Governor Whitmer just extended stay at home uh, safe to April 30th out there. So, Traverse City. So, good for him, I guess. I don't know. Uh, everybody going stir crazy out there. I I don't know, man. It's uh it's a tough uh, it's tough staying home and uh, not going anywhere and doing anything. The wife is going crazy. She I got to do something. You know, we're gonna have to put the dogs in the van and go for a ride or something. I don't know. <laughs> can't can't go anywhere else. Well, as we mentioned earlier, Walmart's hiring. Uh, one hundred fifty thousand. Uh, they want to hire in the next three weeks. Um, uh, they've already, I think they've already got 100,000 hired, but uh, they're having a hard time stocking the shelves. They hope everybody will just uh, buy what you need for a week and they can keep everything stocked. So, you know, there's, uh, they, they said they've sold enough toilet paper for every person in the in the United States to have a roll. <laughs> so, <laughs> and that's 370 million. So that's 300, rolls, yeah, yeah 300, 300 plus million in uh, uh in, in toilet paper so uh amen to that so <laughs> so calm down your shopping all right just you know take it easy the other thing that's really sad shane uh, we got uh, we got farmers dumping milk um by the thousands millions of gallons i guess because there's uh you know the restaurants uh, are uh, 
you know, the restaurants are, are closed. The, you know, all the uh, places that uh, milk buying is down, supermarket sales are down. So these folks, uh, you know, some of it goes to food banks or donating it to food banks, but otherwise they're just dumping it down the drain because uh, they can't get the cows to hold it. Now, I don't know what the deal is with that. You know, I mean, what they don't oh, know about the rubber band. <laughs> No, 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 no. They're dairy. They're dairy cows. They're trained. Uh, their udders have to be cleared um, every eight hours. It's it's a very hard job. They get up at five in the morning and work to seven at night. Oh, it is. And, yeah. You know, they have to. Some member of the family's got to go out early in the morning, like two or three o'clock. Mm -hmm. Number yeah. one. Number all two. Number two. They're all stalled because it's all it's an automated mm -hmm. industry. So that makes it difficult. But it's also yeah. the chicken stock that you have in your country, and yeah. eggs. Do you know Americans consume or for this 1.2 billion eggs a year? Think of that 1.2 yeah. billion yeah. eggs just in your country. So I probably you, do half that. Cheese is not a problem because it can be stored. Um, you know, but there are foods, uh, bacon, bacon, yeah. and because of uh, you know, bacon's so expensive because it's the rare thing that everyone wants. You can't have breakfast mm -hmm. without bacon in North America, yeah. in, I in think our, so. not in our, our house. <laughs> yeah, not in our, in our country club too, you know, and yeah. so you know that's an issue, and you and you got to keep f feeding those poor, those pigs if, if you're not slaughtering them. All, all these things are happening. Yeah. Costs are going up to maintain them. Stockyards are full, and uh, so again, you're getting back to can or should the cure be better or worse than the disease? Yeah, yeah. Well, the other thing. Uh, you and I have been talking about this for a while, but with all the cars and everything off the road, uh, <laughs> are we going to have longer than 11 years that uh, uh, Ocasio-Cortez says we're supposed to have? Or are we with oh, uh, less, less fossil fuels going on and, uh, you know, we're all staying at home, we're staying inside, so we're not outside breathing, uh, taking the oxygen out of the uh, atmosphere? Yeah, well, What's I, I, I look, I, I just, I'm just an observer, but I have my opinion. So here's my opinion of Dr. Anthony Fauci, uh, probably a brilliant guy, great background, smarter than a whip, knows nothing about the economy, clearly. Um, but I do want to know about things he does care about and did before this, because, you know, him and uh, Dr. Deborah uh, Burke, the, you know, the numbers gal and modeling gal, uh, they're finding that their models are like 400% wrong. And they've now they're adju adjusting their models down so drastically. It, it begs the question why a journalist doesn't say to them, um, tell me, uh, Dr. Anthony Fauci, and, and for you, Dr. Deborah Burke, uh, what, what's your opinion of the, the, the effect that this is having, this pandemic is having on global warming? wait for their answer and they're going to say well that's not my expertise you know they're not going to answer it and then the follow-up should be no no uh, we really want to know what your opinion is you're you're great scientists you're making policy decisions you're advising the president what to do so what do you think the effect of this is having on global warming and you know obviously the reason i want the question asked is i do want to know where they are on that because this is what will happen if we'd listened to science in the last four years about global global warming, again, I repeat, yeah. folks, what you've watched in the last two months would have been what would happen if the Democrats or the demolition party got control of your government. OK, so there you go. Oh, let's see. Uh, Rainey says uh, missing you guys in the morning. Well, we're missing you, too, because we we uh, well, as much as we enjoy doing this and it gives you a chance to see us interact a little bit more than you get to see on radio because we we do get to see each other on radio because we skype in but you don't get to see our reactions and uh you know all of that we're, we're a little freer here uh you know we're not going to use any bad language or anything like that but uh we are we are having fun here doing this so we may keep doing it even when we go back to work so i hope uh, that'll that will happen soon but uh Anyway, uh, Larry says, uh, yeah, we don't want to talk about Vietnam or Coochie in 66 and 67. Not a chance. Not talking about that at all. <laughs> so, no, not going to happen. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, 
Also, uh, today, the CDC released some uh, new guidelines, uh, Shane. Uh, the, uh, the new guidelines, uh, if you've been exposed or uh, whatever, uh, take your temperature twice a day, wear a mask, social distancing, all the uh, normal things, wash your hands, use, uh, uh, you know, use yeah, sand, sand and stuff if you want it. Yes. Well, I, I just said it and it fed back to you. I don't know. <laughs> so any hey, comment? No, no, this is your question. You fill it in. I, you know, I, mm-hmm. if you want me to comment, here's my comment. All yeah. of these things are important and we're going to discuss some things today and the coming eight days about pandemics and, and issues with disease um, that the human race has been dealing with for a hundred thousand years. Uh, you know, origin of the species is a great example. What did it talk about? Survival of the fittest. Right. Um, ma- mankind has to learn to adapt, has to learn to uh, live by it. And uh, there are a lot of viruses out there. And we've, you know, we've t- told you, that, I mean, there's like 1300 known viruses out there, including the common cold that, you know, they don't have a vaccine for it. Why not? I mean, they can break down the DNA of this in a week. You know, well, it's yeah. because the cold yeah. is stable. Well, it's no, it's because the cold is unstable like the flu. Excuse yeah. me. As as you're sure you sure you don't have it, huh? And no, I don't. But you know, I, I have know. Really some sinuses, and uh, you know, it's 62 degrees. Yeah, I know. And so I'm getting hit with um, allergies. So I apologize for my. I, I, under, I understand. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Just giving you a hard time, man. All oh, right. that's uh, sad. I like that. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, one of the things the uh, the stream we're uh, getting is giving us a warning. Uh, while Wednesday and Thursdays are so busy, note some overloads are expected. So you may, uh, you know, if if for for any ch- reason we're breaking up or whatever, it uh, could be because of that. So, but so far everything's been uh, uh, pretty cool. So <laughs> we're, we're we're glad of that. Well, so. you know, I, I like to think of this as a Thirsty Thursday because tomorrow's finally Friday, but it's been a wonderful week, Eagle Man. I, th- this is uh, yeah, beyond it's been kind of fun, fun. okay? Yeah. And, and a huge opportunity, and I'm very grateful. Yeah. Well, in uh, Montana, we have uh, 19 new cases confirmed, six deaths. We're still uh, staying on six deaths. Thankfully, we don't have any more than that. Uh, six is is more than enough. 157 have recovered, 7,800 total tests, 36 hospitalizations, but our graph has gone down dramatically from, uh, let's see, on uh, uh, March 26th, we had 35 cases, and uh, today we have three uh, throughout the state. So we've we've come down dramatically. So in our state, at least for the moment, Jane, the uh, the uh, uh, shelter in place seems to be uh, seems to be working on the uh, international level uh, one and a half million cases uh, 93,425 deaths uh, 34 uh, 346,000 have recovered uh, in the US we've got uh, 452,000 cases we're approaching half a million uh, 16,000 deaths and uh, 24,800 have recovered from uh, the virus. So, uh, yeah, it's, uh, I, I don't know, Shane, the worldwide numbers are less than the population of Billings. You know, I mean, well, I, 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 I understand, the, yeah, I understand the severity, but yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I'd like to mention Canada. 17,800. Know, yeah, you just wait till I finish talking, and then you know you're okay. the floor is yours. You know you're, yeah. I mean, you know you. Uh, I realize there's two of us here. We can see each other, but you can't just walk in on me. You know, you can't just can't, you can't just get out of the way, Tom. Uh, you know, come on. What's your story on Canada? Like anybody cares. Well, I care. Um, every oh, I know you do. I know you do. Seventeen thousand eight hundred and forty. Confirmed cases uh, up uh, 1,173, so about 8% increase. Um, 375 deaths, up 52, so that's about 15%. Uh, total recovered, though, is 3,918, so that's up 302. Mm-hmm. So, you know, we're, we're looking at a 20% recovery. 
Um, regrettably, mm -hmm. in DC, we have 1,266, no increase. Um, we have 39 deaths, regrettably, no increase. And the majority of those, uh, 37, are from retirement homes, as uh, yeah. we all well know, uh, the uh, greatest generation in, into the breach they're coming again. And, uh, but here we go, 783. So we have a, a recovery rate of over 58% here in BC. It looks like we've, burnt, we've turned the, you know, we bent the curve that you heard yeah. here from, from uh, that Dr. Fauci. So there you go. Those are yeah. our numbers. But uh, okay. Ontario and, yeah. and Quebec aren't doing well. And I, I, I don't need to go into the numbers, but they're not good folks. Yeah. Yeah. No, there's, there's hot spots everywhere and it's, it's a real issue. Uh, Linda has a question for us, Shane, uh, because I'm new to your show. Would it be possible to have some information on your education concerning broadcasting or college if you have extra time well, soon? Well, we should do that. We should um, give people an opportunity to, uh, when we uh, do you know, except more, for. Yeah. We'll do it more at the beginning of the show when we have more viewers. We can do that, yeah. Yeah, we'll yeah, we'll, we can do it. Yeah, we'll do it tomorrow at two o'clock. I have two o'clock mountain time. Yeah, uh, I have a breakfast bet, everybody. So I we got to get to a thousand. Oh, there we go. We got to get to a thousand YouTube viewers tomorrow, so I get a free breakfast. Okay, and I'm retired and broke, so help me out here. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> if I had your money, I'd burn mine. <laughs> well, mine's already burned. So you don't have to worry about it. <laughs> well. Uh, Yesterday, we talked a little bit about Social Security. If there are people who are watching today that didn't hear you yesterday, could you give a short synopsis of what, what we were talking about? Because we, you have the answer to sa saving Social Security and paying off the national debt both at the same time. So well, yeah, you that, give them a, 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 a thumbnail yeah. of yesterday and then take off. Okay, no problem. I'm happy to do it. So, uh, you know, what, what I was dealing with yesterday was talking about uh, the reason we wanted to look at Social Security and why we felt that there was an opportunity to create a solution. And uh, so we talked about the size, so how it operates, and we gave the ground rules, the content for everybody to appreciate how large it is. And, uh, you know, it's, it's one of the, it's the largest in the world. And so today what we wanted to talk about is Social Security is funded by payroll taxes, and you hear everyone talking, all your politicians, about, oh, let's have a tax-free holiday on payroll taxes. Well, if you do that, there'll be no contributions to Social Security. So, bad idea. How do you solve the third rail? Well, this is great. It's pretty simple, except you have one little tiny problem. When Social Security was uh, first set up uh, back in the FDR years, uh, there was one little tiny requirement. The, the trust fund that was set up to, to uh, manage the money in it is, is required by law to invest in non-marketable securities issued and guarantee and only uh, securities issued and guaranteed by the full faith and credit of the federal government. And the, these are so powerful, okay, that they're, they're segregated securities. They're, they're not even part of your regular $24 trillion debt, folks. So it's an off-balance sheet bonds that the Treasury is issuing to Social Security. Wow, isn't that exciting? So today, don't they, we, pay, we, don't they pay a whopping three percent or something that's right. like that, or less than three percent, something like that? Yeah. Yeah. That's basically what you're looking at. Yeah. So now here's your solution, and the content for this is very simple. Uh, I, I call it the Buffett effect. So Warren Buffett buys Valley uh, Falls Company. Uh, it's a 139-year-old company. And he decides he's going to follow one rule, one rule, him, him and Munger, the two guys that control it. And the reason it trades uh, class A shares, by the way, folks trade at 300,000 shares is because there's only 750,000 shares issued in class A stock. And um, Warren Buffett and his, and his friend uh, uh, Munger own about uh, 740,000 shares. So there's literally only 60,000 shares for people to own. Average shareholder in Berkshire Hathaway between Munger and Buffett, one share. Okay, why am I telling you this? Well, it, 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 the company was started in 1839. He buys it, and, and he gets together with uh, Munger. They set it up, and they make one decision. Now, we're going to take the cash flow we generate, and we're going to buy an interest-bearing stocks, cash interest-bearing stocks. That's it. 
So he becomes the biggest guy owning the, uh, the biggest companies in the United States and has never, he sold them sometimes and they've gone up and then bought them back when they've gone down like Coca-Cola and the stuff you use at home, you know, that we've talked about before. Most of the product you know, companies you have at home, you know, Berkshire Hathaway owns. Why is this important? <laughs> well, folks, that's because <laughs> Warren Buffett, he's got 130, are you ready? $130 billion. That's with a B. This isn't government. It's a public company to invest in companies, to buy companies, buy more stock, do whatever he wants with. Berkshire Highway generates $400 million a week in cash. How astounding is that? Why is it important? Because now we save the Social Security Fund, except for that one guarded rule. Well, under the, the, the acts that your president has enacted with by, you know, by, uh, uh, you know, a presidential order, he can now do this. So the Social Security Fund, which manages the fund uh, that we're talking about, is got, got governance. And the governance is a group of, there's uh, six trustees on the trust fund board, six members, Secretary of the Treasury, Secretary of Labor, Secretary of Health and Human Services, a commissioner of Social Security picked by the president, and two members appointed by the president and confirmed by the Senate. So th this government governance of Social Security is, you know, it's rock solid. So he here's how you solve the problem. With the vast amount of money sitting in Social Security, which is trillions, you take a trillion and you have this board say, OK, we're going to go out and we're taking 500 billion and we're going to buy in the market only gov only public companies that pay uh, a cash dividend and have been for at least 10 years. If they stop paying the dividend, we sell the stocks immediately. So. There, you know, be warned, market. That's what we're going to do with 500 billion. The other 500 billion, we're going to go to the Fang stocks. You know the Fang stocks. You've got uh, Apple, Facebook, uh, uh, Netflix, Google. You know that that jolly group of people that don't pay any taxes. And him and Mutual sit down with all of them in a room, like they did. Remember back in 0809, when your Secretary of Treasury sat down with all the bankers and said, you're all taking this money, whether you like it or not. And uh, there was a lot of anger in the room. Anyway, um, so the American people saved them. So this is how he saved Social Security. So he sits down with the FANG stocks and he says, okay, we're going to buy $500 billion worth of your stock in, in grade A, you know, uh, stock, not, not common. This is going to be preferred grade A, no vote. If we convert it to sell it, it'll be on a 10 to 1 basis. Uh, we're going to split it between all of you. So each get a hundred billion. You're going to give us in and uh, and and with a ten percent interest that you're going to pay on on these uh, on these shares. And why am I going to do that? Because none of you guys, all right, we can't say those two words. You know, a o. Yeah. Yeah. You know, none of you guys pay any taxes. Well, now you're going to you're going to save Social Security. And you're going to be part of saving all of the retired people there and all of the people that are now exposed by this incredible new virus we have. So there you go, folks. The third rail is resolved by 2035. I'm telling you, Social Security will have so much cash flow and have made, be making so much money. It's going to be paying down the national debt, okay? Like the Federal Reserve can, is the largest contributor to the U.S. Treasury because of its balance sheet and the amount of uh, government debt it holds. And it gets paid by the government because it's holding that debt <laughs> after expenses of about $250 million to run the bank. The rest goes back every year by, by, by law to the U.S. Treasury. I hope you like the solution because, you know, it'll work. All right, man. You are on it. <laughs> I He's tried. on a roll, folks. <laughs> He's on a I was roll. on a roll. All right. Didn't well, need to take up all my a lot of time. You know, well, if we were going to have a party, Shane, we we go to Thailand right now because <laughs> Thailand just uh, uh, promoted a or their uh, their head guy uh, in their big cities has stopped alcohol sales for uh, eleven days because they're all having drinking parties in Thailand. <laughs> they're all sitting around. They're all sitting around sharing the virus and getting getting drunk on their butts 
<laughs> yeah, so you know, Elon Musk is the only one that can send the two of you and me by by spaceship, so it'll land comfortably. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know how we get home. We we yeah. get there safe. I, I don't know how we get home. But I don't know how dumb do you have to be with a with a virus running around that's uh, yeah, that's that's highly contagious. How the hell do you justify getting a bunch of people together and and being drunks and <laughs> keeping social distancing? <laughs> Now, well, bell, I, I, belly up to the bar has a new meaning, you know. You know, my daughter lives in Australia, and that's one of the favorite places to go. It's a beautiful place. Been there, oh. remarkable place. Uh, been to Bali in Indonesia. Uh, oh. and, uh, yeah, the South Pacific's unbelievable. There's some, there's some. Just, oh. It's just awesome, really. Um, the the yep. climate is not bad. It, it's yeah. you know, of course, it's very humid, but uh, they have the clothes for you to wear, so that's cool. Um, the, the food, quite honestly, is far better than anything you'd want to eat in China. Um, oh, only second to Vietnam. Boy, folks, got to go to Vietnam. Yeah. Be amazed how it's changed. And the food, the seafood yeah. is phenomenal. Yeah. Well, no thanks. Uh, been there, <laughs> done that. <laughs> Unfortunately, yeah. I know that. No desire, no desire to go back right away. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> back to where we were, I think, is a museum because they had so many tunnels under our uh, thing here so anyway uh from our uh folks on facebook uh bj says uh we love this uh stuff so uh let's see uh, i love hearing people that have an actual brain and can actually think a politician couldn't pour piss out of a boot if the directions were on the heel so there you are i guess so i guess we can say that huh <laughs> yeah <laughs> Uh, I think we can. Well, yeah, if you want, yeah, yeah. Well, three people have found a way to get away from the virus. I mean, they're social <laughs> distancing, like you wouldn't believe, Shane. <laughs> they're going to the no, space I, station. I, I, Let's hope they uh, don't have the virus. <laughs> I, I tried to segue this for you by talking about going, you know, to Thailand by must. Yeah, I know. You got yeah, it. I, I did that. I, I, on, I got it. Yeah. yeah, I got it, man. Yeah. So anyway, these three astronauts blasted off today. No family members there. Nobody there. You know, there was just there was only the guy that lit the fuse. I guess, and he ran ran away, and then off they go. That's right. <laughs> and Jim joins us. Thanks, Jim. Thanks for being here. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're having fun today. So, uh, hey, we're glad you're all along with us. So, uh, these are uh, fun times out there. So, so yeah, thanks for Jim for joining us. Uh, the other thing uh, that we've got to talk about a little bit is um, going back to the coronavirus and, and uh, you know, all of that uh, are the major changes that we've, you know, that we've seen everywhere that we go here. The uh, Obviously, the stop in paychecks is tough. Uh, Tesla furloughed. Uh, most factory workers and announced pay cuts. Starbucks will provide direct grants to employees worldwide. And the Seattle Roaster will provide $10 million in grants for things like housing, utilities, family funerals, and things like that. Uh, already er uh, early signs of a weakness in the housing market and uh, mortgage applications nationwide dropped 17.9% in a week. And also... Um, you know, the uh, purchase applications, which hinted a future activity, slid 12% uh, in the week and a whopping 33% from the same uh, week last year. A uh, number of people paying rent in March slipped 12%. And uh, the, um, uh, the uh, 69 percent of households had paid their rent by April 5th, uh, compared with 81% uh, the uh, year before or the previous month, sorry. Uh, manufacturers have reconfigured factory floors to provide essential goods despite the lack of a coordinated response from Washington and clashes between President Donald Trump and some of the nation's largest producers. And the U.S. will buy 30,000 desperately need ventilators from General Motors for $489 million. Uh, that is claimed to be GM's cost uh, to make them. So we'll see if that uh, plays out. FedEx and DuPont are uh, teaming up to get uh, 450,000 product, uh, productive su protective suits. Sorry, 
to uh, U.S. healthcare workers from a plant in Vietnam this week. And uh, well, the, we talked a little bit about the empty skies. For the first time in well over a generation, skies are largely empty of planes. Uh, for the first time since the formation of the Transportation Security Administration, number of passengers screened daily at U.S. airports dropped below 100,000, uh, 97,000 folks. So, um, I mean, there's a lot going on out there that uh, Japan, uh, Japan's economy is headed for a 25% retraction. Uh, Goldman Sachs uh, uh, report said uh, experts are expected to uh, um, uh, exports are expected to, uh, to dive by 60 percent. Uh, rather, I'm having a hard time today uh, in, in the April June period. So, uh, this is serious business, Shane. We got to get people back to work, or the lack thereof. And remind, remember, yeah. everyone, if you're not producing anything, how can you ship it away or sell it? So, well, um, yeah, that's that, that's kind of true. Oh, you know, well, yeah, I'm, that's where we're going. Yeah, I'm going to take a segue here real quick because. I want to defend your president and and the decision he's going he's going to have to make here in uh, the very near future. I'm hoping within two weeks, um, because he's going to get hammered by it, no matter what decide what he decides or how it goes. He's he announced today a new task force about opening. He's going to you know create to uh, determine and advise him on how how and when to open. So um, numbers are very important. So. I implore you, I implore everyone listening, and I appreciate you taking the time to watch this. Go to the CDC website, type in on Google, uh, U.S. flu uh, 219-2020 U.S. flu season preliminary estimates. Here's what you're going to find. This is astounding. This is why your medical services in your country have not collapsed. But that was the big warning you got two months ago. Oh, this is going to be so bad. You know, the sky is falling, and our whole medical institutions are going to collapse around the country. Really? Well, since last October, um, as of March 28th, 55 million people in your country have had the flu illness. We're talking about the H1N1. 26 million have been to medical visits for it. 730,000 have been hospitalized to, to need aspirators and uh, to be taken care of and recover. And 63,000 people will die this year from the flu academic. Why are these numbers important? Because the stark, stark reality is this isn't going to end here. You've already heard them all tell you to try and scare you. Oh, my goodness. This is now here with us. Of course, it's a virus. It got out of the box. It got out of the, the mm -hmm. bottle. So, you know, let, let's remember a few things real, real quick here, okay? Um, the H5N1. Um, flu ep epidemic created a similar pandemic, but didn't shut the countries down. The 1957, um, are you ready for this? H2N2 or A slash H2N2 um, from 1989 didn't cut the world down. Massive numbers, not in entirely as, as similar to this, but still massive, over millions. 1968, H3N2, A slash H3N2. Um, again, massive pandemic. It rated that by the, I'm, you know, the, by the World Health Organization, other governments, including yours, and the 1918, of course, you know, the Spanish flu. You know, there's a billion and a half people at the time, giving an idea of human mortality rates. You know, it was huge. Fi you know, 500 mi uh, million people were infected. 100 million people died. And so, you know, th this is going to continue, and we have to solve and come up with um, you know answers to all of them um, another website I, I beg you to do is wikipedia human pathogen p-a-t-h-o-g-n you'll be so overwhelmed by the pathogens that exist today and the prices to, that you have to pay you know to to get uh, a vaccine um it, it, it's staggering a anywhere from uh you know, five dollars to two thousand bucks for the different pathogens that already exist today on the planet, and millions of people die around the world from. Um, so once again, you know, the swine flu in two thousand nine, N one H one, one point four billion people were infected. Over four hundred and seventy thousand people around the world died from it, and since then, from that disease, Americans have lost over four hundred thousand people in uh, since 2009 so we these numbers are important put everything in perspective 
give you some reason to, to appreciate what you're dealing with, but at the same time, it's relative to the human race. So All right, man. We need yeah. to do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, from our Facebook uh, watchers, uh, I love you guys. Uh, you guys are awesome. So that's from Jim. Thanks, Jim, for for that. Uh, Bernie says he's on a break making zucchini bread. So hey, send some over our way. Why don't you? <laughs> well, let's see. Uh, uh, yeah, we went through the uh, yeah we went through the uh, stats of the COVID. Uh, worldwide and all of that did you do the flu numbers i'm i'm sorry I'm yeah yes i did yes i just other, finished I'm, I'm doing other stuff here so <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah. <laughs> uh the other thing that we need to uh we need to do a shout out to a local company here uh, uh west uh west ride distillery uh, they were on uh, fox news today uh they interviewed troy downing um and uh, they are making, they're an alcohol distri uh, distillery, obviously, but they are making uh, hand sanitizer with the uh, byproducts of their alcohol production. And uh, they've been getting calls from all over the country for this. They started out making them and distributed them to local uh, EMTs and firehouses and, you know, police departments and stuff like that in the local area here. And then the word got out about them and uh, they're just all over the place. So. Uh, so, uh, yeah, uh, let's see from, uh, Sarah, where's Mike? Uh, is he not going to be on, uh, uh, Mike, uh, we tried to get Mike on. He had some technical difficulties, um, with, uh, the computer system or whatever. So, uh, we are going to have him on as a regular though. Um, so, uh, we'll try and keep you apprised of when, uh, he'll be back on, but, uh, we hope we can, um, uh, uh, get whatever I think it's some, some kind of internet issue. It may be where he's located or whatever. So we hope uh, we will hope to have Mike on in the near future to uh, uh, kind of uh, talk about the markets and all of that uh, stuff that's going on. So yeah, yeah. So um, well, Speaking the market update. The market, uh, you want to do the market update now? Uh, well, it's on the screen. I guess we have to. Okay. So the Dow Jones, folks, uh, it just, you know, America is so incredible. 23,726 up to 292, 294 up 1.2%. That's just wonderful. Standard Poor's 500, 2793 up 42. NASDAQ 100, 8272 up 42. Uh, the FTSE and, uh, is up 186. The DAX in Germany to 330. CAC in uh, France, 112. FTSE in, in Italy up 603. And even the IBEX in Spain up 117. Why am I telling you this? Because everyone's so positive. Folks, Denmark is sending their kids back to school in two weeks. I mean, a lot of the con 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 countries, Germany's opening up. Other co countries are opening up. And uh, it's it's just uh, really remarkable to see the, the movement. Uh, crude oil, West Texas, 23.160, down $1.92. That's off 7.5%. Brent in, in Europe, what the Russians sell their oil to Europe for, 31.87, down 97 cents. Simple. It's just a glut. They're trying to absorb it. Gold, 16.84, up $37. Silver is 15.35, up marginally at 38 cents. Big numbers we want to watch, and we're getting close. Soybeans, 8.70, 75, up 9.50. I, I told you. When we see a thousand on that, you know China's buying for tofu, and uh, wheat for noodles five fifty seven fifty up nine dollars. So they may very well be really in the market, like they promised. Very important. And the ten and the the debt uh, the U.S. debt is looking terrific today. Um, most popular is the uh, one million or one month, uh, three months, six months, uh, fifty two week, and they're the most popular ones being bought right now. And uh, that's great. Um, the others aren't down, are marginal, no, no, no major change, but off a little bit. And then finally, currencies. The euro, after that interview from the Italian prime minister, who said it could, it could come apart if they don't start loaning countries like his and helping countries like his, uh, is off, uh, moved up a basis point even after that interview to 1.9 to the U.S. dollar. And the pound sterling, uh, it's, it's strengthening a little bit to 124. Uh, the Canadian dollar, though, is off marginally. Well, not actually a half a basis point to 139. So 40% on your money. Come north. 
Yeah. You know, invest here. <laughs> yeah, come to and you by get all means. Forty percent on that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, from uh, <laughs> yeah. Larry says, "Good show today, Tom." So <laughs> happy to do that. Thanks very much for the kind yeah. words. We appreciate that very much. So yeah. Well, in the market, we we've almost got uh, half the money back, Shane. We were all the way down to nineteen thousand. We're almost twenty four again. Um, you know, in the markets, so we're 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 slowly, surely recouping some of this uh, lost money. Um, we were up uh, two hundred and uh, some points today to twenty three seven, so uh, that's certainly good. My wife is happy because her Facebook's at one seventy five, a, a long ways from the. To 220 or whatever it was but <laughs> but uh she's uh she's recuperating yeah, have, so yeah I have. <laughs> yeah you broke up there for a minute try that again. go ahead i'm sorry um I, 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 yeah you're you're breaking up bad so uh you we are. can look at the am i okay. yeah you're breaking up uh, netflix bad. 366 yeah. down one should I, should I go and come back? That, that seems <laughs> yeah, to be the best. I don't know. You may need to do that. Me. I'll go ahead and yeah, go ahead and uh, go and come back, and um, I'll get you yeah, back you on here. Carry on for me. I'll uh, be right yeah. back. Okay. Before you leave, uh, Jim says I love Canada, eh? <laughs> so, <laughs> all right. I uh, want to remind everybody we're here every weekday, every single day. Did you leave, Shane, or are you still here? <laughs> or you're frozen, I guess. <laughs> yeah, we're here every weekday at uh, this uh, this time, and uh, we really appreciate you guys uh, checking us out. Uh, don't forget, if you want to uh, text us anytime, uh, 24-7, uh, we are at uh, 406-478-8298. You can text us 24-7-365. Uh, happy, uh, happy to have you uh, on, on the show doing that. And uh, also uh, our app chat line, um, yeah, if those of you with a smartphone, our app is AM1450 KMMS. Do a, uh, do a search in uh, Apple Store or Google Play, and uh, we'll be happy to do it that way. And you can also listen to all of our previous shows, uh, 369 of them. Uh, previous shows are at kmmsam.com. Uh, just go over there, click on Tom and Shane's podcast. And if you want to see what we were talking about three months ago, six months ago, last year, or uh, right up to today. And we usually post the shows uh, within a couple hours after uh, they're over. And of course, if you're watching us on uh, YouTube, hey, don't forget to go down in the corner and subscribe to our YouTube channel because we would uh, really appreciate uh, you doing that for us. And uh, uh, we really uh, enjoy being here, <laughs> even though Shane's, Shane, I'm not sure where Shane went, but <laughs> he was having a, well, he's in Canada, you know, they got a, they got a Tim Canada string up there, you know, I mean, they don't, they don't have, they don't have a real internet. They've, they've got a, um, they got a hamster in a wheel, I think, that runs the whole country. So, uh, but anyway, uh, doesn't look like he's going to come back. So uh, we'll end it here. And, uh, hey, we thank everybody for uh, uh, showing up. Thank you very much for being here. We really appreciate it. We honestly do. Uh, we're, we're guessing at what you want to hear about. If you got any suggestions uh, as to what we can uh, talk about or whatever, uh, we'll be more than happy to uh, take care of that for you. And uh, and uh, geez, uh, guess who's back? <laughs> He's back. I'd be back. You're back. <laughs> I, I think the, close the file and reopen it. You're fine. Yeah, yeah. You you sound better. Yeah, you were kind of you were kind of. We we're getting every other word there for a minute, so that's okay. So, yeah. Uh, this is very yeah, positive information from BJ. Thank you very much. Uh, the internet runs through Moose Jaw. <laughs> <laughs> have have a good one. I enjoyed your tax. I wish that I, I got in earlier. Maybe next time. Uh, take it easy. Well, Jim, you can hear the rebroadcast at KMMSAM.com. Uh, video and or audio, either one, will both be there. So go to KMMSAM.com and uh, we'll be happy to uh, uh, give you uh, this uh, rebroadcast. Uh, no problem. So, yeah. So. 
Let's see, I got his name back up there, Shane. Sorry. <laughs> flipping it, flipping us all over the place. <laughs> so Anything else to... you want to say before we go? We're going? We got four minutes. So Netflix is that's off. What, that's why I'm giving you four minutes. <laughs> Netflix is 366.70 down 442. Disney, my favorite stock. Uh, it's uh, holding up. It's up 409 to 105.10. 10. And your Facebook. 50 million You're going to like this. 170, 24. Um, 170.24. Uh, that's Facebook up 469.3% today. Wow. Smacking mm-hmm. on. Uh, <laughs> 2032 down 29 on Amazon.com. Um, Apple that everybody seems to love. Of course they do. You can't believe their cell phone's only 10 years old. I mean, when, when you tell people that, they, they look at you like you're nuts. Okay, 267.99, up $1.92, so 0.72% in, in improvement. And Tesla, which is uh, going to do a lot to save your country, 566.97, up 1813 because it's automated uh, manufacturing, and he can turn it on and off. off uh, yeah, he just turned, so he just turned it off by thing following really- a bunch of people. <laughs> Yeah, right. and uh, only eight of the th- yeah, that's right. Only eight of the thirty Dow stocks are down. So you know it, you, the resilience of your of your market, your country, your 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 yeah. people is you know thumbs up everybody. You're doing a great job, you know. And this social separation has uh, seemed to work. Uh, it's got to end. You got to get yeah. back to work, or it won't be much much reason. But thirty year fixed mortgage rate on uh, the banks are offering three point five percent. Of course, they're offering you 1.8 percent putting your deposit in their bank. Yeah, but who, who cares? We're we're so lucky. <laughs> Thank you so much for that. Jeez. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and of course, uh, Google is uh, Al- or Alphabet. That's the parent company. The parent company to Google Alphabet is 1,206.57, down 43 cents. So there you go, folks. Uh, yeah. Again, in reference to our solution to the uh, Social Security problem, those are the stocks that uh, you ask to uh, fund Social Security and uh, save save it and uh, make sure they pay into it because of the vast amounts of money they're making and um, because of their success in the 21st century. They're the answer to That's, the third rail. Yeah. All right. Uh, BJ says, thank you. And uh, Jim says, I'm watching uh, you on a Pro or Apple Pro Max 11 and love it, best camera in the world. So good. I don't... I don't care how you're watching this, uh, but uh, just continue doing it, <laughs> and we'll be back, right? Yeah, we'll, we'll be back tomorrow at uh, this same time. Uh, we we well, we have a couple of questions for uh, folks out there that uh, we we would like to know. Do you want a longer show than an hour? An hour is a lot to sit and watch us to. You know, so we we started with an hour just to see how it would go. And, uh, you know, if you guys want more, uh, we could certainly do more. We do three hours of radio every day. Well, since we got kicked out of the (laughs) out of the station. But anyway, (laughs) well, we didn't get kicked out. Let's put it in context. Um, Really, with all the advertising, we spoke just over 20 minutes an hour. So that's an hour. So yeah, yeah, we were on the radio for three hours, but you know, it, it was about a two-hour show. Yeah, it's about a two-hour show. So yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> one hour or everybody's brain will blow up. Uh, thanks, Jim, for that one. <laughs> and really? uh, Sandy, and Sandy says, "Love seeing you. It's even better than Cam MS. Well, good. It's oh, we too- like that. Do you think people take notes, Tom? I'm sure they do. I'm sure they. I'm sure they're keeping notes on us. Well, so. don't just just refer yeah. this. Uh, send you know, share it with everyone on Facebook. Share it with everybody yeah. on Twitter, uh, LinkedIn. You know, yeah. help us out, folks, so we get more people. I want a free breakfast tomorrow. Thank you. Oh, that's for be sure. Happy be safe. <laughs> be happy. Be safe. Uh, work. Live in the moment. And God bless the people of America and Canada. All right, man. All right. Thanks, everybody. Uh, Hey, we'll see everybody tomorrow. Same time, 2 uh, p.m. Mountain Time, 1 o'clock Pacific, uh, 3 3 o'clock Central, and 4 o'clock on the uh, wherever. And uh, Shane's got his 
uh, water can tie on today. Yep. So you want to Spring know time, that? Get up and plant yeah. that vegetable garden. All right. And Jim just shared us. We appreciate that. If all you uh, folks uh, would share our uh, broadcast, uh, that would be great. We're, we're trying to grow this and uh, uh, we'll see if uh, we can do that. So, hey, we appreciate everybody. Thanks so much. And uh, we'll see everybody tomorrow at 2 p.m. Mountain Time. Bye, bye for now.